Hello everybody, welcome to PowerPoint Academy channel. Today I will show you how to design this animation which consists of four rings and it will help you to design any infographic consists of four steps. But for starting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be able to watch our upcoming videos. Let's go! Okay, so firstly I will bring a blank layout by right click on the slide and from layout choose blank. Then I will insert the first ring in our four rings animation from shapes and choose this one, which is called a hollow circle. Okay, let's draw it and press shift during drawing. Okay, make it more thinner like this. Very good. And now remove the outline. Okay, now right click for my shape and go to 3D rotation and put these numbers 309 for X rotation 322 for Y rotation and for Z rotation to be 63 ok then to make it up for this uh, circle we will go to 3D format and in steps board make it 25 like this very good okay and this is the design or the outline of our rings then we'll put it here control d to make another one ring to send to back control d send to back control d and send to back okay move it here very good very good you can select all of them and go to format align and distribute vertical like this okay and then i will give a color for each of them let's print colors from our color foil okay Let's choose this one and please tell me in the comments which color or group of colors uh, you prefer. So I will choose this one, Control C, Control V and let's color them. Okay, and now after coloring them, I will make, I will insert the uh, arrow and the text to uh, go to the animation port to animate uh, all of them. Okay, so I will bring this line segment. Click on format shape and make its end as a rounded end, like this very good and see 25% to wait to put it above the this arrow okay choose this font will be to be more like this very good Okay, and I will draw a circle to put the icons in it, like this, remove the outline, and then make the first text, step 1, same edit. Make another copy. No, I will make another code on first, okay. And write your brief description here. Control C and make another copy, okay. Put it here like this. Okay, thanks. 
needs to be more smaller. Very good, and I will give it a lighter color. Okay, this one is good. Okay, and now let's bring the icons from our icons file. Of course, you know it. And let me choose this one, dollar sign, chart this, this lamp, and this project. Okay. You can use slide by uh, pressing Ctrl plus M and Ctrl V to paste them. Then I will choose the first one to put it here, make it more small. Yes, and very good. And let's coloring them. This is, will be step one shape for the first ring, so I will give it the same color of the first ring. Shape outline, choose this one. Text outline, text full sorry, choose this one. And for the circle, I will choose this one. And the chart, I will choose it to be in white color. Very good. I want this to be bold in color. Yes. Okay, and now let's make the animation of this project. Animation pin. Okay. To move the, the rings, like in the introduction of this video, we will make a trick in the animation part. We will go to the motion passes and choose lines. Okay. And in this part, we will make it to move slightly downwards like this no more more down like okay okay effect options and here i will choose auto reverse and this will be the trick in this project regarding timing make it medium okay and repeat until end of slide and press okay it will appear in this manner okay very good but one second yes and then choose it and select it sorry and choose animation painter and click on the other rings okay you can double click on animation painter to click on all of them like this and make all of them with previous sorry with previous but make a delay for 0.1 minute 0.2 minute and 0.3 minute very good then the animation of this ship I will make it wipe but from the left to appear in this manner make it uh, ok 125 and then this one will fly in from top yes and I will make a bounce end in its effect, okay. Very good. Then the shape, and I don't want to group them, you will know later. Okay, I will choose this blade for them. Then this one will. Okay, I want the zoom, yes, and this one will be split, very good, okay, the first one will be on click and all of them will be after previous, like this, then on another click, all of them will be removed, so we'll choose all of them, add animation, more exit effect and I will choose fly out okay and it will be after previous like this no no I want them to be with previous to be appear like this okay then I want this one to have a particular effect 
to tell the uh, audience that you uh, are talking about or you will talk about the third string so I will choose it and go to add animation and emphasis we choose a texture to appear in this mush ok then I will put it here after the appearance of this one but I will make it with previous then let's do some changes to it make it very fast and repetition until next click and press ok very well and as you will see I will make the same thing or the same steps for the other three rings but first I will choose select all of these parts Control C and Control V. Yes, put it here. Then let's make it. No, it needs to be more higher like this. Yes, let it 50%. And step 02, you move this part and bring the dollar sign ok you can center it in the circle by choosing selecting both of them and then align center and align middle. and be sure that you select the align selected option not to the slide ok then fill it with the white color and that's why I don't group them to be able to do animation to this dollar sign only, not to the uh, group. Okay, then I will choose this one, go to animation, animation painter, and make the same animation. Then this one needs to be moved to this one. Very good. And it needs to be with previous I forget to make it in this part please attention please this one needs to be with previous to appear with the circle ok and then give them the same color like the ring and shape outline choose this one text fill choose this one while the circle fill chooses one very good don't forget to make the theater effect animation add animation theater effect same settings timing very fast with previous and until next click then i will remove move it upwards yes here okay and I will do the same steps for the last two rings. Okay, and now I have just finished the other two rings. Okay, but I forget to make the tutor effect for the last ring. Let's me do this quickly. Yes, tutor effect. Like four with previous, very fast, and until next click. And press OK. Then put it here. Very good. And now I want to add this picture, all of them I mean, in uh, the slide. So I will select. I mean, OK, uh, let me clarify this point. I want, uh, after removing this part or after the last, after the last click, all of this will be removed. So I want to uh, put all of the shapes in one slide. So I will choose all of them. Control C, then here, right click and choose this to paste it as a picture like this. Then Control X and Control V and try to put it exactly on the first shape. Then Add animation and run the boards after previous and decrease the duration of it. Very good. 
okay and the last thing I will choose a proper background color mm, no I think this one is good okay okay and now let's review our project after designing it click on preview this is the motion of our four rings on the first click these shapes will appear and on the second click it will appear and second steps will appear again third step and lastly step four and you can see the teeter effect of the ring and if I click the last click this one will appear and all of them will reappear again and now we reach the end of our video I hope you like this video please if you like it press like and subscribe to our channel to be able to watch our upcoming videos thank you